So uh, we as Indians, we are taking in everything uh, from West, whatever West promotes, right from lifestyle to clothing. Can you speak more about this? You stand up, Monty. Stand this way. Are you a shoe salesman? What is that? Is that a Reebok? Huh? You are not a footwear salesperson. And why are you wearing this? I'm asking you. <laughs> why are you wearing that? Why are you wearing this shoe company name? Are you a salesperson of this company? No. Then why? Ah, because you saw Usain Bolt or Magic Jans Johnson wearing something. You need to understand, for him to wear that t-shirt, he is being paid millions of dollars. <laughs> Nobody is paying you anything, why are you advertising for the shoe? <laughs> At least wear a Isha t-shirt <laughs> We are known to get everything free <laughs> At least you advertise for Isha free. Why are you advertising for a shoe company free? They didn't even give you, give you a pair of shoes. I'm giving my time and life to you. <laughs> See this boy, See, you stand up. See, he's… Uh, yourself, yeah. Uh, you're from which country? Say, he's from United States. Look at his uniform, turn around, show it to him. See? At least he's doing the right advertisement. What are you doing? <laughs> I think you should get both of them on the video. <laughs> stand up, stand up, let him. What India is doing, what America is doing, just see. <laughs> Turn around, turn around <laughs> So, what is the next step for you? Are you going to hang two shoes around your neck and walk around? <laughs> no, what is the next step? Right now it's just written, maybe then you'll wear the product and walk around. So, <laughs> When it comes to clothing, one thing is to use something which comes from the land. Because organic substances have their own influence on your energy system, how your aura develops, it's important that the substance that you wear is organic, not some nylon or plastic or something. And another thing is, if you already do not know this, India has over 120 distinct weaves. If you travel from district to district, from one county to another. In every county they have a distinct weave, unique weave, that that kind of weave is not done anywhere else. No other culture on the planet has developed so many types of textiles. But like somebody was telling me, if you take a photograph in any major city in India, below the knees, if you take a picture of people, over sixty percent of them are wearing only American workman's clothes, blue denims, only single color. Of course, some are faded, some are torn intentionally. <laughs> some are punched holes. Some have faded it forcefully <laughs> but basically workman's clothes, nothing wrong. 
I am not saying something is wrong, but there is something right, isn't it? Something not being wrong does not make it completely right. What is suitable for the weather, the conditions, the tropical conditions in which you exist, what kind of clothing is most suitable? That's what you should wear because how your body merges with the weather and the atmosphere around you is important. To bring this to a certain level of ease and comfort, it's very important. I want you to just experiment. Those of you who are wearing tight-fitting nylon clothes on a, di a daily basis, just wear some loose cotton clothes for three days and see how it feels. Then you decide. But unless the shoe company is willing to pay you something, you writing it on your name, are you getting a tattoo on your forehead, Reebok? No. I have always, uh, you know, even people who sponsor our events, I say, put it in one place, don't write it all over the place. Yes, they're paying money because they want some exposure, but put it in a aesthetically properly place uh, uh, area, not just all over the place. I never allow any sponsor's name to be written behind me, at least. Money or no money. I can't understand why you're writing it all over your chest and back and face and walking around about footwear. I don't even know if you wear those footwear, but you wear their t-shirt. At least uh, if you are some… if you are a fan of Tendulkar, you write Tendulkar and walk around, silly but it's okay. I'm not saying it has to be an Indian player. You like uh, Lionel Messi, you say Messi and go, people will understand you're a mess <laughs> People will understand, you know. <laughs> but it's okay, at least you appreciate somebody's skill and you want to write bolt and go, all right. Even if you cannot run like him, he is your… you are his fan, it's okay. But when did you become a fan of shoes? <laughs> it's ridiculous, <laughs> it doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> If you are a fan of a runner or a player or a football player or a cricket player, it doesn't matter where they come from. If you are a fan, you like it, you wrote their name on your t-shirt, all right. But why are you advertising for a shoe company and a cigarette company and this company and that company, I don't understand. At least if they give the t-shirt free, okay, you're wearing a free t-shirt, all right, leave it. No, you're buying it. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense to me, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'm missing something. I think it's the laces. So, there is something about clothing. One thing is the aesthetics of it for other people who watch. But the most important thing is that your body is at ease. No, no, I'm okay, I'm all right. That's what is not okay, <laughs> that it's like this, this, this. That's what, not is what, what is not okay. I'm telling you, just change to an organic fiber. Close your eyes and feel it and see how it feels.
your body will come to ease. You think it's okay to be in different states of disease. You think it's okay to be agitated. You think it's op okay to be itchy and uncomfortable. I think I appreciate your tolerance. I'm not so tolerant about things which are not comfortable <laughs> unless it is towards a certain purpose. If you're determined you want to sell ten thousand shoes this month, you write it all over your face. The shoe company's name, it's okay with me. After all, you're trying to scale up trying to achieve something, it's okay with me. So, what is it? You are a… are you a hoarding for somebody? Are you an adver advertisement board for somebody? If you have to be one, at least advertise Isha, I'm telling you. We will print big things, we are right now putting in a subtle way here. But if you like this, if you're wearing to wear shoes around your neck and walk around, what's my problem? We will open a tattoo shop on your forehead. <laughs> I love Isha <laughs> When you are anyway willing to do, why should I miss the opportunity <laughs> I thought it's unesthetic to do such things. <laughs>